Hey, True Seeker, welcome back. Zach here. In the last video post I did, I talked about the 16th Street Baptist Church bombing of September 19th, 1963, less than a year before the 64 Civil Rights Act. And when you read about that bombing, they talk about how that incident was instrumental in helping get the act passed. Also, the leadership of people such as Martin Luther King Jr. And it made me take a look, a deeper look, at the 64 Civil Rights Act, knowing what I know about Barack Hussein Obama, the name, which I've always found curious long before I knew about numerology or gematria. The reason I found it most curious back when he was running for president was the simple fact that Obama rhymed with Osama. and being awake to what kind of nation I live in, I thought, hmm, this seems like a very deliberate wordplay. For the last decade, they've taught us to hate a man named Osama, and now we have President Obama. Well, true seeker, look at this. The name Barack Hussein Obama in Pythagorean sums to 64. The name Barack Obama alone sums to 32, half of 64. 32 is an important number because America equals 32, UK in simple English equals 32, and we supposedly got our independence on July 4th, 1776. If you add up all these numbers right here, true seeker, digit for digit, it equals 32, just like America, just like UK. America, the big way, true seeker, equals 50, and think about how many states are in this country. So does the word apple. And I think, honestly, what the United States is, is the recreation of the garden. A big land of temptation. <laughs> you know? Meant to lock you out from the truth. Anyhow, back to this 64. We have this 64 Civil Rights Act, and we have this name, Barack Hussein Obama, summing to 64. His common nickname is Barry O. Barry alone sums to 64, and I doubt this is a coincidence, if you add on the O, it sums to 79, not a comfortable number because the word murder equals 79. The gematria of civil rights truth seeker, Pythagorean, sums to 64. And what do we get? We get a civil rights act in the year 64. If you're new to my work, I have approaching 600 posts showing how throughout our history, it's all been synced up by numbers, by dates, by numerology. And let this be one more shining example. If you're thinking this is a coincidence, I figured out a way to uh, manipulate numbers for an agenda. No, not at all. Not at all. I've been searching for truth. I came across this thing called gematria. I'm now presenting everything I've learned and decoded. If you're new to my work, here's, here's one of the first things I decoded that gave me a major clue. I took the time to decode all 50 of the United States, and I found that only three had names that summed to 33. The first, Delaware. Delaware equals 33. The sixth, Massachusetts, equals 33. And the 50th and final, Hawaii, where Obama's supposedly from. Only those three states to sum to 33. In terms of the first 13 colonies, like the first 13 stripes, like the number of Illuminati families, only three of the first 13 colonies were established on dates with 33 numerology. Delaware, the first, New Hampshire, the ninth, and Rhode Island, the 13th and final. Delaware, the first date was established December 7th, 1787 a date with 33 numerology. Just like New Hampshire, just like Rhode Island. The same pattern as the 50 states. Only three, including first and last. The relationship to 33 and 6 is 3 plus 3 equals 6, the numerology of 33. Also, when you multiply those values, 3 times 3 is 9. New Hampshire was the ninth territory. So that's what I started with. That was enough information for me to go, okay, maybe something's here. Ever since 2013, I've been decoding like it's my hobby. And again, that's what I'm now presenting to you.
With regards to this 64 Civil Rights Act, it was the 88th Congress at the time that enacted it. 8 times 8 is 64. There's very much a relationship between 88 and 64. And here it is in the 64 Civil Rights Act. Now think about this, truth seeker. Martin Luther King was assassinated on April 4th. April 4th, a year to the day of giving a speech on April 4th, 1967, speaking out against the Vietnam War. He spoke out against Vietnam. He was assassinated a year to the day later. If you've never heard that speech, type in a time to break silence. That's the name of the speech, April 4th, 1967. I haven't listened to it for a while. I think it's around 50 minutes. No matter what you think about Martin Luther King Jr., it's one of the greatest speeches ever given. It's more true today than when he spoke it then. Please look that up. What I want to show you here is that he was assassinated on April 4th. That's a lot like 44. If you write out 44, 4, 4, April's the fourth month, it sums to 144. If you write out April 4th, it sums to 144, truth seeker. Same numbers. Why do I show you this? To show you how important this coding is. It's our language. It's our calendar. It's more than just these numbers and dates. Watch the other videos. There's many other examples. So anyway, Obama ran on hope. Do you remember this image? The man who drew it, his name in Gematria sums to 44. Shepherd. Shepherd Ferry. Hope is a 44 word, truth seeker. Obama's the 44th president. Again, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated 4-4 April 4th. And get this, the first president to ever die in office was William Henry Harrison, the ninth president. He died April 4th, 1841. First president to die in office, he died a month into his term to the day. The ninth president. So far, eight presidents have died in office. The last one was JFK. Eight presidents have died, JFK. That means the next will be the ninth. Should Obama be assassinated while he is in office, think about the symmetry of that. The first one dying on 4-4, the ninth one dying on or being the 44th president. Too much, right? And he was the ninth president, the first one to die. With regards to the word hope, truth seeker, I want to make this point again. You, you can agree to disagree, but for a lot of my life, I've thought that maybe words such as hope, faith, karma aren't the best things. Notice they all have gematria of 44. Faith, karma, hope. All summed to 44 simple English gematria using the alphabetic order. If you want to know how to do this gematria, type in how to gematria into your search browser. You don't have to type it in caps. How to gematria, you'll see my video pull up, Zachary K. Hubbard. It's about a half hour long. It's worth your time. In 30 minutes, you can learn a skill that will keep your eyes a lot more open for the rest of your life. Doubt me now, thank me later. But anyway, when we have these things, faith, karma, hope, what we start to do is put power outside of ourselves. We take away our own power. We start to put them in the hands of, you know, whatever's out there. But true seeker... I'm sure a lot of you are like me, very good people, people who've helped out people all your life, and you're still waiting for that karma. You're still waiting to see that good return to you somehow. Or maybe you have the absolute right attitude and you don't even care. You just keep going on no matter what. That's kind of how I am, but at the same time, I keep thinking, okay, one of these days I'm going to get a break. Recently, my house was robbed by my neighbor after I tried to help my neighbor. It's a more complicated story, but, you know... My point is, I just don't see good people doing so well in this world. I see a lot more of that phrase, nice guys finish last. I'll show you a quick lesson on nice and mean. Nice has a gematria of 31, like the foundational degree of Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Mean is spelled with the same letters as name and has a gematria of 33. Notice that mean is bigger than nice. Maybe it's just a coincidence. With regards to Obama, there's something very concerning about him that also connects to Martin Luther King Jr., Truth Seeker. What it is, is that he reopened Ford's Theater. 
I've done several videos on this. He reopened Ford's Theater on February 11th, 2009. February 11th, 2009. Let's see if I have the date written up here. I don't. But February 11th, Truth Seeker, is the 42nd day of the year. 42. And 42 is a number coded all over black Americans throughout history. One of the most obvious examples is Jackie Robinson. A less ex obvious example is Rodney King, whose birthday is April 2nd. Somebody else with that April 2nd birthday is Marvin Gaye, who was shot on the last day of being 44 years old, supposedly by his father, killed on the last day of being 44. He was the king of Motown. Motown was established in 59, Truth Seeker. Let me show you something real quick. Motown established in 59. Marvin Gaye killed last day of being 44 on April 1st, April Fool's Day. Last day of being 44. 59's coded all over Americans, truth seeker, black Americans. The name Rodney King equals 59, born April 2nd. The word Negro is 59. So is the word slave. It's not just on black Americans, though, truth seeker. Think about what the average man works. A 9 to 5. 59 backwards. We're a nation of slaves. Just throughout history, black Americans have gotten the brunt of it. That's why there's been bills such as the Civil Rights Act in need of passing. The bill passed July 2nd, Truth Seeker, the Civil Rights Bill. That's the exact midpoint of the year. The exact midpoint of the calendar year, Truth Seeker, this Civil Rights Bill. Think about divide and conquer, half and half, black and white. A Civil Rights Bill on the middle day. Anyway, back to this Ford's Theater. I'm hopping around a little bit. Why this is so concerning, Truth Seeker, it's not just that he opened it on the 42nd day of the year. It's the fact that Ford's Theater was closed after the assassination of Lincoln, April 15th, up until the year 1968, the year Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. The year Ford's Theater reopened, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. Then they have Obama reopen it for the first time it being closed. Because it was closed again after it was opened for MLK. So after Lincoln closed, not until 1968 reopened, they closed it again in 1977, nine years later, that number nine. And then they reopened it February 11th. 2009, with Barack Hussein Obama. 44th president, MLK assassinated April 4th, 68, just months after they reopened the theater for the first time since Lincoln. And then they say Obama's from the land of Lincoln. True Seeker, there's another thing I want to show you. This video right here, Let's watch it, and then I'll show you why this is so concerning. I'm telling you, all this stuff is foreshadowing Obama's fate, this nation's fate. What we're about to watch is Serena Williams getting the gold medal at the 2012 Olympics on August 4th, Obama's birthday. Okay? This is Obama's birthday, August 4th, 2012. If you've never seen this, sing along. <laughs> True Zigger, that was blatant. I'm sorry. You know what? I'll just tell you what happened instead. You can look it up, Serena Williams, gold medal, August 4th, 2012, the national anthem's playing, they're raising the U.S. flag, and right as the lyrics are sung, but our flag is still there, it falls from the rafters, and the entire audience goes, <gasps> August 4th, 2012, Obama's birthday. Last year on his birthday, August 4th, 2014, James Brady was shot and killed, the man who's said to have saved a bullet from killing rank. Ronald Reagan. I have a video on that. Please watch. But with regard to Obama equaling, or his birthday being August 4th, would you believe his name, Gematria, and Jewish Gematria, Truth Seeker? Obama equals 84. 
They say he's a lawyer. Really, he's just a teleprompter reader. But lawyer equals 84. And what this website doesn't do is Pythagorean gematria, where United States of America equals 84 as well. 84. Possibly a tribute to how important black people were to the history of this nation, this country, built on the backs of black slaves largely. And as I was trying to show, African American sums to 116, a very important Number, the word country equals 116. The word powerful equals 116. So African American, a term that's been taught to us, part of this Civil Rights Act world, probably a very deliberate term for its gematria value, as most things are in this society. So I hope you learned something new here. I hope you're seeing more clearly. I hope I'm wrong about the assassination of Obama. I have a good theory on how it would make sense if Hillary was the 45th president. That would be void if Obama was assassinated. But um, rest assured, truth seeker, it is all part of a very, very sick joke. They say he's from Honolulu. I want to point out that has that gematria of 37, which is super hot right now. First triple crown winner after 37 years named American Pharaoh. Possible reference to Barack Obama himself. Chicago Blackhawks just won the Stanley Cup. Chicago equals 37. Blackhawks equals 37. They've won three of the last six Stanley Cups, all in the time Obama's been in office. I think that's it, Truth Seeker. Told everybody way back when that Obama was not the real deal. You know how I knew? Let me tell you how I knew, Truth Seeker. On the campaign trail, at the time he was running for president, the most important issue in Congress for the nation was immunity for the telecommunication companies that were spying on Americans, collecting data violating the rights that are supposed to be given to us by the Constitution. And Obama was on the campaign trail saying the right things. He was saying we couldn't allow this to happen. These companies couldn't have immunity from prosecution. They violated the laws. They need to be held accountable. But then when it came time to vote, he voted the exact opposite of his rhetoric. He voted for immunity for the telecommunication, com telecommunication companies, the liberty violators, it's because they're really all just the government truth seeker. It's a big charade. It's a big show. Don't forget that. But the point is, is this man went out and he told everybody the right thing and then voted the exact opposite way, and his voter base didn't care at all. They didn't care the least bit. That issue was not on their radar. It had zero significance. Absolutely no significance on what they thought of Barack Hussein Obama. Do you remember how giddy the whole world was for this guy? Where I worked at, we had Barack Hussein Obama Celebration Day. People brought in cakes with his face on it, cookies with his face on it. Ridiculous. I was not that happy that day. I was thinking, all these people, all these people I know, they just don't get it. They're all fooled so easily by things that are so simple to see through. Well, in 2015, I know a lot of people are seeing more clearly. All right, Truth Seeker, until next time. Encore, Truth Seekers, I forgot to make one very important point. From the 64 Civil Rights Act to Obama being elected president November 4th, 2008, was a span of exactly 44 years. Like he's the 44th president, coming back to this word hope, coming back to the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr., who was instrumental in the 64 Civil Rights Act. All right, Truth Seeker, until next time.